twitching. It's happening. Hey, everyone. It's Sean and Etienne here with you tonight. Say hi, Etienne. Hello. And uh, welcome to the Cardboard of the Rings Twitch stream for this evening. Etienne, why don't you uh, go ahead and run us down what we're going to be doing this lovely night. Well, we're, we've started to do the uh, quests in the order that they are presented in the latest expansion. Uh, that is not the Trees and Ceremony. We're still uh, going through the Lost Realm. So following the game we had two weeks ago, we're now going to play the Weather Hills. And uh, yeah, that's hope for the best. Sounds about right. Have you played the Weather Hills yet? I am sure I did. I can't even recall at the top of the head, my head the mechanics. Is, is it the one with the two-sided card that I took like 15, 20 minutes sorting through my 1,500 cards trying to find, find it because it was saying on the quest card, look for a card with such a title and I looked through all the cards and didn't find it so I was freaking out thinking I, I dropped it somewhere. And yeah. it was on the back of the other card. Turns out you're not the only one who thought that. I actually there had go. the opportunity to play with Caleb that very night that I bought it. Um, we okay. played through the first quest. He's like, yeah, break out the second one. I'm like, you know what? I think I'm missing a card. And you know what? Yeah. I saw I saw a post on BGG that said someone else was missing a card. Is this is this like a thing? Do you know about this? Is, is FFG going to have to like issue an apology? Is this a thing? And he's like, flip it over. Okay, I just thought I was I was the only stupid one out there, but no, no, I'm probably not right in the average. Not. It was a thing. All right. All right. Know, as... Well, if you want to go ahead and get the uh, quest loaded up here, hopefully my uh, mouse clicking isn't going to be obnoxious. I don't really have a solution other than maybe switching to my headset mic if necessary. Uh, well, so. it's. It's super loud, but I feel like it it doesn't uh, work against us on Twitch as much as it might on a podcast. So I think we're good. Yeah. All right. I'm so figure out best way. Sorry, don't mind me. I'm uh, I'm actually figuring out my uh, lovely little. Inter interface that Tom taught me how to do. <clears throat> okay. Oh, well, I'm going to watch an ad now. Anyway, oh, and Scott, you should know that I only tell my best of friends to fillet phalluses. So, you know you're in. Okay. So All right, so I'll just introduce people to my deck it's an unusual one i'm taking advantage of brandon's absence to play a card that's actually good despite whatever he says and it's leadership boromir and for thematic reasons i'm combining him with denethor and mablong and i'll be trying to get a lot of gondor allies and play off the synergy that visionary leadership and boromir's ability have in a very well thematic and hopefully we haven't really synchronized our decks really hopefully uh um, the few doom effects i have won't hamper your strategy too much and, yeah i don't uh, think it'll be too bad all right, all right I'm being told and i brought it up for a bit volume. You... is it is it my volume or is it etienne's volume whoa, whoa, whoa. sorry go ahead we're having volume issues there. Sounds that way. It's probably me. And uh, as for my part, I've gone ahead and uh, my first experience with Weather Hills tells me that there is just so very much damage to go around with uh, all the nasty weather treacheries. So to that end, I brought my Gandalf pipe deck. And hopefully we should have enough damage cancel between Frodo and healing between the cards you brought that uh, we should be able to manage it. All right. So we've got a main quest deck and an orc deck, which will be a side. I made my hand visible to everybody. So Sean, you can 
take a look for the benefit of the viewers on occasion. Fair enough. Will do. So looking briefly through the card in the state uh, yeah, in the staging area, we've got hunting the orcs, which is an objective. After an enemy is defeated, place a resource token here. Then if there are at least X tokens where X is uh, five, uh, we're going to flip it and place each resource on the uh, other side of the very same card. We're starting off with a weathered hilltop, which is going to grow in threat as we progress. And we have an exposed ridge with uh, an ability that triggers at the end of the refresh phase if it still remains after the first turn. Ugh. Ugh, yeah. Okay, now I'm remembering this. Grossness. All right, so then the quest card gives us Surge on the first weather treachery we reveal each round, which is just so lovely. And uh, let's see here. After the active location is explored, we reveal the top card of the orc deck, which is that separate lovely little enemy-filled deck that we have. And resolve its staging as if it were just revealed from the encounter deck. So, sounds fun. Sounds good. Yeah. I'm going to go ahead and keep my hand. It's got enough good cards in it, I think. Same here. I've got at least two or three key cards. All right. Well, let's go ahead and control on it up. Since we're both playing tonight, we don't have to worry about breaking Octagon. <laughs> Knock on wood. <laughs> All right, so let's start off with Adarin's runes. Draw two, discard one. Mm -hmm. Wow, Guard of the Citadel, huh? Yep, it's a thing. <laughs> That's a classic. I need all of those cards. Uh, yeah, the Guard is going to go in the trash for the moment. Yeah, I will play are, a Legacy of Numenor. You are pretty well set for a Gondor deck. Holy crap. So starting off with this, I'll spend two, gain two on Boromir by putting Steward of Gondor on him. And then I will spend... Um, hey, Etienne. One. Yeah? You should go into your host options and disable spectators. Thanks, Stokes book. Also, Tom, uh, is, is my... I'm is... pretty sure spectators weren't there when okay. I started the game. Yeah. Well, I think it's an option once you once you get into the game, too. So if you don't see it... Oh, that's really? Fine. I think it's uh... under host options up above in the, the menu. Anyway, Tom, you should let me know... How my how my wizardry is as far as the visuals because I'm doing it with one screen and I'm not exactly sure what it looks like. So I'll try yep. this. Something is kind of laggy there, and I'll add a resource on Boromir. I'll spend one and two to put another one and put a resource back on Boromir. I'll spend two for visionary leadership on. Boromir, and I'll spend one for Winkfoot on Leblon. That's a which is for a Gondor deck. As, as good as it could have been. Yeah. Go ahead. All right. Um. Well, I suppose we'll start out with an obligatory light. Because why not? Um, we will, that's the way to go. We will throw down Gandalf's staff. We will throw down a Bilbo Baggins. Go and grab a pipe and hopefully something interesting pops up on top. Hmm. Yeah, might as well just get it out, huh? Yeah, so I'll pay one and throw the pipe out. Because why not? Alright. Seems as good as just about any first turn. Okay. So.
So visionary leadership is going to give plus one willpower to all of my characters, including heroes. So that means three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And okay. I could send 11, but maybe it's not necessary. Well, that's not bad. I'll be the first player, so I may have I'm, I'm going to get an orc probably when the active location is explored, so I'll keep Denethor back. Okay. Tom, do you think I would be testing fate to uh, to try to adjust it on the fly here? My instinct says yes, but I am also reckless, so I want to try it. Um, I will go in for seven. What do we got? What do we got? Okay, uh, I'll call. I'm thinking that the encounter deck is fairly light on enemies because of the second deck. So I think I'll call location with Wingfoot. I believe it's the right call. Yeah, but if a location comes up, what good is it? Uh, it's going to ready him for when the active location disappears and an ah. orc pops out because of the quest card. All right, sound reasoning, sound reasoning. Although okay, I think solid. if we're going to be lawyeristic about it, the force effect, mm -hmm. the force effect still resolves during the quest phase. So I think Wingfoot would trigger if that force effect goes off. If you say enemy. Oh yeah, if a card of the name type is revealed, yeah, okay. In resolves, yeah, okay, yeah, I'll say orc. Uh, enemy, I mean. There's a there's a yeah. nice thematic little. Little workaround. Yeah. All right. Cool. Frimps card is a withered hill. See, I should have called location. <laughs> You'll be fine. <laughs> and uh, find shelter, surge, and time four. Mm -hmm. Force after the last time counter is removed from this quest card, each player deals four damage to a hero he controls. Then place four time counters on this quest card. Like to well, you've got the possible. heroes. Yeah, I could. You've got the. Threat, but... Oh yeah, and you've got two heroes with five, so you're. That's true. Really not doing too bad. Oh, and that's gonna. Now this one's well. gonna surge. Each pair deals a damage to a hero it controls. Then we're gonna attach it to the current quest, and it's gonna treat each damage character's printed text box as if it were blank. No. 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 Well, no, okay, fine. I'll do it to Glorfindel. Um, I really, really, really don't want to lose the text of either of my other guys, though. I'll damage Mablong. And uh, we're going to put this right here for the moment. And surging into a runes of Arnor. We're going to raise our threat whenever we cancel it when revealed. All right, so that was a lot of cards for first turn. Yikes. But actually not a whole lot and of cards. No. Yeah. So, yeah, two. A weird six. Oh, wait a second. This this gets resources, so it's going to raise in threat. So two, four, oh, yeah, six. Right. But still, we're doing good. Seven, eight, nine from the active location. So that's what I sent. So your seven will go. Oh, yeah, we don't really need to overquest in this thing, do we? Yeah, that's what There's I'm like realizing. There's no point to it at all. Well, that's uh, that's like six progress wasted. Oh well, what are you gonna do? Okay, so we revealed the top to card. Which oh, of course, it's Biggins. Yeah. So All this right. readies Mablong. Uh, okay. Right. And we can yeah. travel. So I would vote the Wetterdales unless you have some canceling in mind. The Weathered Hills. Because oh, those winter tails are going to go insane. Yeah, yeah, yeah. For sure they're going to get big if we don't address them. I'm fine with that. Okay. Um, okay. 
<laughs> so I guess, yeah, this guy's in the staging area. We don't necessarily have to take him. I'm... I don't really have... <laughs> yeah. I'd leave him there for the moment, unless you want to take him, but I don't think you want um, to either. I'm just trying to think what I can do to him next turn. I could soak the threat and just... Well, I know I couldn't even get rid of him if I do that. Huh. Yeah. yeah, I suppose it would be... I'd, I'd rather try to quest over him than, than address him at the moment. Sounds fair. Although it does so seem wasteful we'll to have it. all these ready heroes with nothing to do. Yeah. But, yeah, I don't... I have a healer in line. I don't have a ton of card draw, so... This is where ranged and sentinel comes in damned handy. Yeah. So I'll at least use Denethor to look at the top card and make it a little easier for us next turn. Damn. Um, that looks... So that would surge. That will surge. And do... Let's get it right the hell on the bottom of the deck. Yeah. Because either way, I the next release. card is coming off, so there's no point in leaving it there. Yeah. Yeah. I was desperately trying to figure one circumstance where, where it would be <laughs> positive to leave it there, but. I'm anxious to hear it. All right, I think that's a control end, right? Anything that's yeah. at the end of the turn? That's it for now. I'm not seeing it. Okay. No, except for time. Oh, that'll work. All right. Oh, um, you know what? I'm going to retcon just slightly. I'm going to pretend that I uh, added a resource with Gandalf's staff because it was still ready. Yeah. All right. Let's see. Uh, yeah, Matthew, there's no shadow facts yet. I haven't, uh, I haven't been on top of updating my octagon decks. Been playing mostly IRL the, the past couple of weeks. Okay, so we will go ahead and throw down a Ziggy. And then we're going to go ahead and guess zero and discard one, which is... Oh, okay, so we're going <laughs> to discard two zeros and one of which was a hidden cache. So we'll throw two there two there uh, we'll throw down Arwen and we'll put down another Ziggy because why not you know what for good measure I'm just going to go ahead and use Gandalf's ability now and get uh, the Stargazer out of the way alright nice. well this deck's popping why not all right, and these are the two cards in my hand, and I think for the first time ever, the ship captain is going to be useful for once because I really want to keep a resource on Boromir. So ship captain, move a resource from Meblanc. Okay, I'm having weird issues with the cards there. There you go. So play the ship captain, move a resource from Meblanc to Boromir, and then two to play the Herald without using its ability. Nice. And let's quest. Okay. I guess we need to figure out if we want to go at find shelter or not. Might as well, since the yeah. current quest doesn't really do anything. Yep, I would agree. Okay. Now let's see. We will go. Yeah, Dave, I don't know that we will ever even think of the shade of the thought that is promising and a mistake free Twitch. That's just it's just not gonna happen. I'm going to Oh, what's the best play here? So alright, so we're gonna go for five, six, seven, eight. Do we want to see if we can manage this guy this turn? 
I can't. I don't. Well, what if I well, hypothetically defended him? Would you have enough mm -hmm. to kill him? My guys have two attacks generally, so maybe three. One, two. Come on. Yeah, probably. Worked out Gondor maths. Mm hmm. Yeah, I'll try it. Okay, so I'll leave. Well, I can always just soak thread if I need to. Okay, so I'm going to go for two, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten on my end. And I will give Gandalf the Sentinel and. You know what? No. I'm going to go for nine and give it to that Ziggy and just throw him under the bus. No, but this guy punishes us for killing an ally, doesn't he? Yeah, we don't want that. Back to the original plan. Yeah, guys, as I understand it, uh, due to her work for FFG, Magali got discovered by wizards, and God knows what a cash cow magic is, so of course they can very likely afford to pay her more. Lots more because they're purveyors of cardboard crack. Yeah. But she still right. does work because she has a fondness for FFG. Mm -hmm. At least that's how it plays out in my head. I like your serial stick. <laughs> uh, I'll send uh, nine. So, right. first card. Is one of the oh, and I'll call um, enemy again, obviously. <laughs> Same strategy, so this guy ready is. And the second one, all right, easy quest phase this time. All right, we didn't lose anything, we didn't get any weather, so we're what four, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven in the staging area. Yeah, our... so 19. So we make eight. So five of which here and three on the crest. So this is removed and we revealed. Scott, don't try, don't try to defend magic. I will use any excuse Whoops. I can to vilify that institution. I tried to reveal the top card from the secondary deck, but it dealt from the main deck, I think. That's Damn it, Etienne, you're compromising the integrity of the game. It never did that when I played in person. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to do something risky here, guys, and edit my uh, my little thing while, while we're on the fly. So we've got a concealed orc camp, two threat, two progress while it's the active location. Um, and it is explored. We're going to place a resource token on the mission objective, which is, which is good for us. And as it travel, the first player searches for an orc and puts it and engage with them. Lovely. So it's probably one of, going to be one of those cornered orcs, which are fairly easy. So. Not bad, not bad. Should we go to Weathered Hills again? I believe so. Well, we're probably due for some weather. And... Uh, so now you've got Sentinel on Gandalf, is that correct? That is correct. Hmm. I'll take the cornered orc. Okay. <clears throat> and I'll take the other when one. he engages me, he makes an, an immediate attack. Okay. Uh, which I will take undefended. Okay, so here's my plan. I'm going to take one undefended and soak it with Frodo. Mm -hmm. And then I'm going to take the real one on the Stargazer. Which shadow should I discard is the question. Or should I save it for a draw? You know, I'm just going to save it for a draw. Yep, so undefended. Getting greedy. Ha. All right, Good so call. I Proto would take two damage, so I'll take two threat. And then real combat. 
Oh. You start. Yeah. Okay. Stargazer will defend. Damage, so she dies. Okay. And the Angmar captain on Gandalf, I assume. Depending character is uh, plus one attack. So six. My three. Ouch. No, he's a four. I did the thing for a reason. Yep. And I'll counterattack with Boromir for three, Mablung for five, and the uh, Envoy with her piece of paper for seven, <laughs> and kill the orc. Good, and that gives us and then a... the door is just it gives us a resource. Yep. Okay, and then I'll uh, hit mine with Glorfindel, which will kill it. For another resource. And I'll Denethor is not really doing much right now, he's just chilling around. Looking at the cards at the top of the deck. Jeez. Okay. Weather Hill, I can't deal with that. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and draw a card. Oh, you have no cards in your hand. Well, I am just as good as having no cards in my hand, so I'm going to be greedy and make sure... Well, no, that's not even going to do me anything next turn. Okay, I'll draw it. Damn, all my dupes. Alright, I'm ready to control N when you are. Okay, let's do it. Uh, I'll remove a ton counter. Come on now. There it is. Okay. Steward of Gondor for the Toonie. <laughs> Come. That's like play money, right? Oh, it's real, man. It's real. Lasts longer, too. It's crazy that you then play money? have to deal with all... No, but I mean the, all the paper money you Americans have ah, in one dollars. Horrible to handle. Um, yeah, yeah. So I exhaust those two. Shuffle my deck. Ah, oh, wonderful. So I don't know if you guys can hear my dog eating five feet from me, but she's being quite greedy. Two oh, wardens. Yep. Nice trade. Yes. Yes, we can use. And, wow. And all those are going to go in the trash. All of the allies. And I'll heal the whole board. Nice. So two of Gandalf, one of Glorfindel, one of Mablong. And I'm done. Totally sweet. Um, I suppose I'll pay two for another Ziggy. Just, you know, the Ziggy trio Seeing a here, trend here. Which, I don't know that I've ever had all three out at once. <laughs> all right, drop Horse Thammer. Horse Thammer. That's a word that I just said. Drop Thor's hammer on your mouse. And let's go. Okay. Also, uh, by the way, listeners, I've been trying for the last three Twitch sessions to connect to the chat on Twitch uh, on all browsers like Explorer, Chrome, Firefox on my computer, and there's always an error message. So I don't have access to the chat room. So if you put a comment addressed to me, I will not see it. Hmm. I still don't know what the problem is. I'm not the only one, though. Anyways. Uh, two, four, five, six, seven. Well, eight, see, Tom, nine. if you've never... If you've never dillied a horse, Thammer, you've not lived, so... Alright. Go ahead. Uh, I'll call in me again four, with Wingfoot. Five, six... Foot. 
7, 8, 9, 10, 11. I'd like to leave myself available to hit something big if I need to. Are we fine with 9, do we? Do we feel? Or do, we, do we need a little bit more? So. We don't have a weathered hilltop in the staging area to really butter us. Like, the top one is a weathered hill, but I don't think it's going to boost too much. We should be good. So, All right. So, 18, first card. Surprise, surprise. Wow, we are so and get a How card. have we not hit another weather card yet? This is going to get bad. Uh, oh, two, three. So we have nine, so we make nine progress, and we go to the uh, Find Shelter quest, obviously. Yes. Following the same line of thought as earlier. And seven out of six, we clear it before it triggers. And we have ten victory points, Sean. Ten victory points. If we were playing Settlers of Catan, we'd have won already. <laughs> We'd be halfway to, uh, we'd be three fourths of the way to victory in Hills of M and Muil. Yeah. Okay. Hey, Chris, Minnesota Might represent. Have... What, what? Let's go to Weathered Hill. Unless we want to go to the Orc camp just to get some killing started. <sighs> well, I mean, uh... so we had an active location leave, right? So we need to get. Oh, the right. Here he is. Uh, discard an ally. Um, I'll get rid of a Ziggy. I have no attachment to yeah. them. Not to the multiples, anyway. All right. And, uh, yeah, so either Weathered Hill or York Camp. I think now that we have an enemy, maybe... Whether it's hill with all the surge that's coming up is the right choice. Yeah, I can totally handle the enemy. So I don't know how you're saying yeah. for... Con oh, I know you're pretty tapped out. Yeah. Although Mablung's up. Uh, yes. Um, I could use Denator now to look at the shadow card he's going to get. Or I can wait and look at the next top card for the next quest phase. Yeah, that's fine. Let's uh, let's leave it as it is. Okay. I'm not really worried about the shadow either. <clears throat> oh, another point. I wanted to talk to you guys, chat. Um, Tom has discovered that we have the capability of having some COTR exclusive emotes. And I would love suggestions as to what you guys would actually use. Like, one idea I had was... Uh, Horn of Gondor blast so that whenever we're using the Horn of Gondor everyone can throw that up or like a stop wait you guys are being idiots you missed a crucial rule I don't know how that would translate that would in an emote but you, you get where I'm going anyway throw up your suggestions uh, we'd love to hear <laughs> pyramids of Asphaloths yes mm -hmm. alright uh, so I'll defend the alright so be it. You're fine. Nothing. All right, then There's I shall weird. kill him. <laughs> Mirror backfires, yes. <laughs> that would be a good one. Um, I'm going to go ahead. Okay. And, um, as an action, since I have this in my hand, why the hell not? As an action, I'm going to go ahead and uh, Gandalf's pipe and throw this staff on top. And then I'm going to say two for Ziggy. Discard one, two. One of them was a match, so I get a resource. Figured I'd get that out of the way now. All right. Hmm. So I'm looking at the top card. It's going to assign... As many damage among characters committed to the quest as the number of characters. And it's going to surge. But with... Throw it on the bottom. Yes, it is a surge. But with all the healing, mm -hmm. we'd rather have surge on this one than 
and another treachery. If that makes sense. Because you think we wanna, I can heal you think, four you think damage. This is one of the lesser hits from what's probably going to yeah. surge instead. We're, we're almost guaranteed to have another weather card anyways after that. All right. Yeah. And I can I could heal like six because I could use then two resources to ready. And there's nothing so in I the staging think... area that's going to trigger off weather anymore. Yeah. yeah. So, okay, let's try this and see how it goes. Okay, so no time counters. We're at uh, three out of five on hunting the orcs. Let's control in. Oh man, that unique rule is killing me right now. Okay, we're gonna ziggy and say two. A match. Oh, that was one of the ones I could have used. Okay, so I get a resource, which I'm not currently going to use. Go ahead. All I have is a Steward of Gondor, so nope. By the way, uh, I'm going to let you know that if there's ever a turn for us to go balls to the wall on combat, this would be a decent one. Mm -hmm. Like, we have the option in the future, but I have a really strong defensive card at my disposal. Oh, wait. You know what? There's no table talk here. I play with the top card of my deck face up. It is a Light the Beacons. You don't even know what that card does, do you? <laughs> I'm thinking. <laughs> okay, wait a second. We're use uh, quests for defense. Nope. No. That's that's the crappy one. That's against the shadow. This is the good expensive spirit one. Still rarely sees play, but it is. Uh, all characters get plus two defense and do not exhaust to defend. Okay. Just saying. If uh, there's ever a time to take a ton of enemies, we, we might be yeah. seeing it soon. Okay. So um, go yeah, ahead. That's, that's all I have. So I'm going to go two, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay. Two, four, five, six, seven. Um, who are you giving Sentinel to, Gandalf? Um, yeah, I'm gonna do it to. I'm gonna give it to Gandalf because if I happen to end up playing Light the Beacons, he can just tank. Okay. Um. So I'll keep. See, Tom, that's the kind of behavior we're trying to encourage. Keep it going. So I'll send nine. Yeah. All right. Are you ready? Do it. First card, surprise, surprise. So never ever. Saw we've got a. So One, two, got a three, four, four, five on my side. And four on mine, so that's nine. Through two here, two here, and then I'll soak two as damage, so you only have to take three. Okay. I'll soak two as threat. <laughs> okay, and this one surges into an exposed ridge. Boy. And finally. As a search the runes. Surge the ruins. So at the oh, yeah. At the end of the refresh phase we raise our thread by two, and after searching the runes, we reduce each place thread by three. I would not go in there. So, Just mm. I, I wouldn't do it. That's a video game I wouldn't play, I don't think. That sounds like cas uh, casino odds, it's deceitful. <laughs> looks good but... yeah the math works against oh, us no. in that case for the love of alright we're going to get so oh, yep. many weather treacheries like chained three, okay. four, five, six, 
6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, if I'm not mistaken, against R9, so that's 5, so just enough to clear the active location. That's all we needed. Which brings raise each player. surprise, an enemy, my blonde readies. <laughs> um. Hmm. That's a tough one, now. Yeah. This is... The exposed ridge is mildly annoying. We've got a lot of healing, so it's not the end of the world. I don't like the causeway particularly. Yeah, the threat's not fun. I'm thinking... Ugh. God, the exposed ridge is really going to suck with that treachery out there. But it's not doing anything if we leave it there. So right. That's the thing. And we don't really want more enemies, so let's go to a rune of Arnor. Why not? Well, like Thank I said, if we're going to take a lot of enemies, now might be the time. Uh, I could light and the, we oh, could clear... Yeah, I could light the beacons and then we could get pretty much everything. But we couldn't kill them all, maybe. That's the thing. Even... Well, we won't exhaust. Yeah. I guess we could go to the concealed orc camp. Yeah, so what does it make us do? Uh, search and orc. Mm, okay. And it's, I mean, it's gonna be the one that uh, attacks twice. Doesn't matter. So, Gandalf. If I play this, Gandalf wouldn't. But that would be during the travel phase. End of the round, baby. Oh, okay. I never play it. <laughs> this is <becoming laughs> okay. But obvious. first, before we do first, that, okay. still in the travel phase, you're gonna want to heal me so that Gandalf gets his text back. Because that's kind of okay. crucial to my playing this. Okay, so, okay, so I'll exhaust two. those two and uh, one off Mablong and one off uh, Glorfindel. And for the second Warden, I'll spend two resources from Denator to ready him and exhaust him again to heal the last hit point on Glorfindel and Mablong. Sounds good. Okay, so Gandalf has his text back. I'll go ahead and use one, two, three, four, five to play Light the Beacons. All characters get plus two defense and do not exhaust until the end of the round to defend. Oh, and look at you. You are so beautiful to me right now. Mm -mm. All right. So Gandalf's about to tank so everybody. First player, that's you. He attacks when he engages you. Let him. Gandalf will defend it with six defense. Okay. Nothing. And uh, I'll engage. Stop trying to hit me and hit me. I'm just imagining Gandalf is Morpheus now and I can't stop. <laughs> So he attacks again. I assume you defend with Gandalf again. I certainly do. All Assign right. two damage among characters you control. Um, I suppose I'll throw one on Glorf and one on Arwen. Okay. And uh, might as well have Gandalf defend for me as well, since he has sure. Sentinel. Any character is not damaged. Just a puny plus one. Do you believe me Death. now, Trinity? <sighs> okay. And uh, on the counter attack, I can deal more than enough. Actually, I'm out of order here. That's no, fine. I'll just I'll smash my guy. Yeah. Okay, level up. Xbox achievement. However you look at it, flip the card. 
So we've got a savage counterattack after it enters play, advance stage 2A, and when an enemy attacks and destroys a character, we discard a resource. If there are no resources there, we lose the game. How simple. So let's not jump block. Deal? Okie dokie. Right. And the current phase, shuffle the encounter, discard pile, and York deck into the encounter deck. So move all to encounter deck. Shuffle into encounter deck. I'm uh, going to. Okay, I'm sorry. Next time there's an action window, let me know. I believe uh, we're gonna flip this, and each damage character gets minus one willpower. And I'm doing uh, the quest phase. We're either gonna discard a resource token from Savage Counterattack or reveal an additional encounter card this phase. We need to make 20 progress. I think we can do it. I don't and, know if we can do uh, it before <laughs> before five resource tokens go away, but hopefully we'll be getting one more and, here. And the second uh, quest or campus there, I think it brings... Yeah, it brings enemies. Uh, when revealed, each player must search... So I guess we're still in the phase where we can defend at will, so let's go get... Uh, the same cornering orcs. Who the what now? What do you what do you resolve? Okay, sorry, the the orc ambush. Mm -hmm. That came into play. So, yeah. So yeah. since we're still in the quest phase, we don't really care about defenses. We're not exhausting anyway, so we can have Gandalf block those two. Well, hang on. Do they attack this turn? Well, they they engaged us. Oh right right right. Yep, that's fine. Ching. Nothing. Ching. Nothing. Okay, I'll use Denethor, who does his thing. Hiding behind the lines, reading books. And uh, it's a Nagmar orc on top. Uh, I'm not too scared of him. Let's leave him right, there. Hang on, are we still in the combat phase? We're... That all happened in the combat phase, right? Because we were in our... Well, past. yes and no. Here it says, and the current phase. So we're in the refresh phase now. Kind of. Ah, okay, so that ends. Dang it! All right, fair enough. I was going to smash him with Gandalf, but I suppose we'll have to do it next time. Yeah. Um, okay, what else? What am I missing? There's no time counters... Oh yes, and I'm on Forn, which is the fancy location for this quest stage. Four threat, six quest points, immune to player card effects. While it's the active location, after an orc enemy is added to the stage, it's going to make an attack against the first player, and we need to clear it in order to win. And uh, at the end of the phase, we're going to raise our threat by an additional two, which I'll do right now. Wait, hang on. What are you? What, what did you just read with the staging? Uh, the um, this one. So we're gonna raise our thread by two. Oh, okay. Thank you. And what was with the immediate attacks? Uh, this one. Uh, while well, it's gonna be ah, the active aha. location. Gotcha. Yeah. It's not. Uh, so I might a have saved my light the beacons for that. <laughs> <laughs> oh. oh well. We can do mistakes and win anyways. That's how good we are. Guys, there are no bad ideas in brainstorming. <laughs> Even where budgetary constraints are involved. All right. Oh, that's good, finally. I haven't had a single threat reducer yet, though. All right, I've got 10 resources, and I have got to play this guy for free. First world problems. Go ahead, Sean. Poor baby. Um, so I'm going to... Gandalf the Hobbit Pipe onto Frodo. Which is the nerdiest thing I've uttered all day. And then I will Gandalf's oh, sorry, Wizard's Pipe. The Northern Tracker on top of my deck and pay one, two, three, four, and play my Northern Tracker. Sure. I'll use the Warden of Healing to heal Glorfindel and Arwen. And you know what? Do you have 
any way of getting me a resource? Mm, no. Damn. Oh, wait. Oh, no! You I got Gandalf's staff. Uh, yeah, well, that gets me one. I need two. And I have a way of getting me a resource, but it's my other light, the beacons. <laughs> I don't wanna I don't wanna ziggy my light the beacons. Oh. Oh well, what are you gonna do? We'll do it next turn. Okay. So I'll use a warden of healing to heal your two characters. Ooh. And uh, they don't have life insurance, so Denator is gonna pay the bill and ready the warden. Mm -hmm. How very Canadian of you. Yeah, well if it you see if it was a Canadian warden of healing, you wouldn't have to pay anything. You would always be ready and just heal everybody okay, for free. Okay, now, now extend the metaphor to increase taxes. Go. Uh, well, now you take me on the spot there. <laughs> uh, it's right. definitely not Steward of Gondor. It's quite the opposite. You'd be drawing a half a card per turn. Yeah. Yeah, every character would have an ability. Like, they don't get resources at the start of the planning phase. It's just not happening. All right. Fair enough. Um, Let's do this. Let's quest. Wow. Locations. Uh, They're a thing. Okay, let's go with uh, 15. Okay. Yeah. We go for... Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and a resource, or sorry, a progress on the locations in the staging area. Are we, uh, are we going to orc ambush this turn? I assume. Mm, probably, yeah. Yeah. Yep. Sounds good. All right. uh, I wonder if I stack those up, I'll, if they're going to mess up once I start revealing cards. Hopefully not. Oh, oh also I guys, you have this. to have you have to have the uh, the mental fortitude to excuse the fact that he never ever makes a mistake. Can can you take that kind of blazing lighted glory from your screen what, what are you talking about man Sorry. <laughs> we're talking about how hardcore Glaurung is oh um, alright so orc ambush um, let's reveal the first card and there's no surging weather cards this time which is nice Mm -hmm. So we discard an ally. I don't mind losing a Ziggy. I feel like that's our best yeah. option collectively. So I'm down to nine. Right, you just each player is shred by two. All right. That is not the end of the world. And I forgot to call something with Wingfoot, so that's not happening. You didn't call enemy with Wingfoot? I guess, uh, yeah, I would have stuck to my, well, my you didn't other call... guess. Yeah, I mean... You call... Yeah, okay, it's the status quo is the enemy, there we go. I don't He's know ready. why you would call anything else unless you knew it was a sure thing. Well, I knew because of Denethor, so I guess I would. There you go. Good enough for me. All right, what are we at? Uh, 24. Six. So 19 threat. 24. Against. Hmm. It's 24, so that's 5. That is 5. Just one short, huh? So very close. Is there anything we can do? Don't think there's anything I can do. Oh well. Next turn we're gonna have a better turn. 
So when it's explored, we place a resource token on the mission objective, buying us time, more or less. Um, let's go to Amon Forn. Um, give me one more turn, and then I can light the beacons. Okay. Again. Okay. Uh, raise each player thread by two. This is scary at this point, though. Now let's go to the ridge. The ridge I've is got not a priority. I can take care of it next turn. Okay. All right, just let's one go of the to... ruins. Yeah. Yeah. Um, All right. I can take the orc unless. Yeah, you're a little short on people there. Oh, hey, sorry. By the way, real quick, did you count him as two or three? Three. Okay, fantastic. Uh, I think so. Seven, nine, ten. Yep. Okay, so keeping in mind they all have plus one to their stats, can you take the orc or do you want me to take him? Mm, I should be able to handle him. Okay. As long as you can throw some healing my way next turn. Most, absolutely. Um... Okay, so he's attacking for three. No shadow. Uh, go ahead. Okay. Um, we're gonna take. I'm gonna take this one undefended. Okay. Lovely. And Frodo will defend this one. Um, so he's a 3 4 now. Against Frodo's yep. 3. Ah, oh, do I let him take the damage? No, he needs to be able to soak stuff, so I have to take the threat. Take it on Gandalf. I didn't take it undefended. Oh, All right. Frodo defended, so. Okay, attack him back. Hear him. Easy peasy. Hear him now. All right. Then I'll swing at uh, this dude. Kill him. He's good. And that uh, counted the plus one defense he had. I think you might have been one short there. I think you're right. So instead, we'll kill the lesser guy and leave him up. Okay. Okay, no time counters, but we do raise our tread by two because Surgical Runes is still there. Uh. I don't know if we forgot last turn. Oh, maybe not. But... No, you reminded us. Okay. Mm. And okay. I don't see any other triggers. Oh! At the beginning of the quest first, we either discard a resource token, so we forgot the encounter card, so we'll take off a token. Yep, that's fine. Fantastico. We'll go ahead and pipe. That's full of up on top here. And then we will uh, pay two to play Asphaloth. That's how horses sound in Middle Earth. Don't question it. I'm going to Ziggy and say zero and discard one. Oh, two hidden caches. Oh, blind. So I add. That's when you put the sound of a lottery machine willing <laughs> the jackpot. <laughs> you get some resources. And you get some resources. And you get some resources. Actually, can you choose Denethor potentially if you don't need the resources? Or do you need them? Uh, nope, both of them well, say a hero I control. Okay. Okay, well. 
that's actually all I can do for right now. No, no, I can throw her down. So we'll, uh, we'll put down the horse breeder. Or, no, I already did ask, did ask a lot. Yep, we're good. This deck needs card draw. I'll use Denator to take a look at the top card. It's a concealed work camp. That's fine. Let it come. And I'll send... Oh, wait. You quest first. All right. So I'll send one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And progress on locations up there. Okay. Yeah, I assume we're doing orc ambush again, or do we want to try to get rid of the ruins? Uh, the ruins actually, the ruins are yeah ruining us. For... <laughs> so <laughs> let's go there. Man, that and was Brandon worthy. Did you uh, get uh, two willpower on Glorfindel because of the active quest? Uh, the main quest. Is the or did you count him as three willpower? Oh, I counted him as three. We could call. Yep. So I am an eight. Okay. But he might go back up if you heal me in the interim. Yeah. Well, I don't have enough to heal three. No. Okay. Well, then don't bother, bother healing him now. Yeah. We might take well, more damage in the meantime. I think I'll at least... How much do we need to quest here? Yeah, a lot. That's hit progress. So I'll just send the whole team, pretty much. Um... Yeah. So that's 10, 11, 12, 14. So 19 for me. Okay. Nice. Whoops. That was my threat. <laughs> <laughs> I believe you are at 44. Fantastic. Okay, and we are doing Search the Ruins, correct? Yes. Okay, fantastic. Let's First card, There's no that. surprise there. There's that. Oh, lovely. Wow, the treacheries have been easy on us. Three. So, I can ask Baloth something right now. Mm -hmm. let's, see, let's see where we're sitting at the moment, and then see what we want to do. Oh, actually, the causeway is cleared. We raise our tread by two. When mm -hmm. it's explored. Uh so this northern we, tracker backfired on us. We must search the ruins. <laughs> God, uh, yeah. this whole thing is built around the Hobbit pipe and threat reduction, and I've not seen any of it. Yikes. Okay, so where where are we sitting right now? So we're at so uh, we we're could at clear the the exposed ridge would clear us of three. So I think. Despite the fact that there's only one progress left, this is the one that's going to push us forward the most. Oh, this guy? The exposed ridge. Okay. Yeah. Um, as opposed to this? Because he's going to go away next yeah. turn. Well, oh, we've got full go information turn. here. So 3, 4, 5, 6, mm -hmm. 7, 11... Uh, 14, 5, 16. So we need 24. And we have, we have 27. Okay, so willpower is not a consideration. It's just a matter yeah. of what we want to get out of there. Okay, yeah. So, so let's do the camp. Okay. Adding. No, it That's wasn't the active condition. And uh, once again, we forgot to trigger the forced effect on the quest. At the beginning of the quest phase, we're going to discard a resource token, I guess. All right. Since we didn't choose to reveal a card. You're correct. We need to remember to do that. <laughs> and we, after we search the rune, we reduce our thread by three. Yes, please. Yeah, this quest has a lot of moving parts. It's really easy to forget stuff. Oh, guys, I'm going to throw my hat in the ring. I think he's Ukrainian. Just saying. Pure conjecture, but Ukrainian. Somewhere under the Iron Curtain. That's all that matters. 
And let's go to Amman form this time. Okay. Uh, late the beacons next round. Control N. Oh, uh, we got some combat here first. Slow down, buddy. I was only looking at my side. <laughs> I know you're all excited about the fact that you've got no enemies to go with, but you know. All right. Uh, so he's a three. Well, that dork has been there for so long. I thought it was just a single miner that got his beard shaved or something. <laughs> The shame to Ziggy. Yep. Uh, God, do I risk having to take the threat? We'll see. So Frodo will defend with with Arwen's buff here. For each. Oh Ooh. no 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 no. Frack. All right. Well, Frodo's dead. That's right, because I can't. So let's see here. So he You're gonna eats, threat so them, he'd though. eat three, <laughs> which eats the Angmar orc. So it's just one for each. So one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, I'd, I would thread out. So yep, Frodo dies. That's fun. Um. Yeah. Was okay. That? So we discard a resource token from Savage Orc Encounter. Indeed, we will. And God, no, I can't kill him. Stupid orc ambush. All right, well I'll put two damage on him anyway. Okay. Yeah, that was super unfortunate. I sh definitely should have Gandalf staffed that in retrospect, with me being this close. Shouldn't have risked it. I got greedy. Fucking draw a card. Okay. <laughs> Gandalf. <laughs> That's the sound that Frodo just made. If you didn't hear it. I heard that. <laughs> I'll spend two for another warden. And I'll use one to heal Glorfindel and the Pelag Pelagir ship raid. I'm done. Mm. All right, so let me be Gandalf guy for a second here. What's the better play? We will... All right, we're going to pay two and throw an unexpected courage on Gandalf, because why not? Hopefully make up for a little bit of... A little bit of Frodo situation. Mm-hmm. Um, so I'm going to need five yet. Okay, so then I'll... Yeah, no, that's it. That's all I'll do. I'll add a resource to Gandalf. Sure. Carry on. I'll send four. Oh, wait, hang on. Want to remove a token, or do we want to reveal an additional card? You see what happens, Stoke Book, when you dilemma. touch yourself? This is what happens when you touch yourself. <laughs> anyway. Uh, um, I think we can afford one more token. I actually would hit, I would hint toward the card because we're going to be losing like all of these locations. Okay. And if That's this is going to be my light the beacons turn, which might as well be now, right? Because it's mm -hmm. when they're revealed. Yeah, let's uh, let's re reveal the additional card. Okay. Uh, well, in that case, let's 
and 17, 19. And we're going to the main quest instead of work ambush. Uh. Or... Well... It certainly increases their survivability. But we need to make some progress. Uh, yeah, yeah, let's do the main quest. Okay. Okay, so then uh, during my action window here, we'll commit Gandalf, we'll commit these dudes, we'll give uh, her buff to Gandalf, we'll commit... You know, we're going to leave her up. For... No, no, we don't need any jumpage. Although, okay. if we get the card that we have to distribute damage equal to the number of characters come to the quest, it's going to hurt. Okay, so should I leave back my but... ones? Uh, you yeah. Well, actually, maybe it's not that bad. I've got the custodian that can take two, the shipwright can take one. I've got three healers. Yeah, maybe it's not that bad. Light the beacons again! They went out, apparently. Okay. Um, so I'm in for... <laughs> well, you know what? I maybe want him back for a second attack if we we're going to get things. Yeah, well, no, uh, no, we want super progress. So I'm going to go 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. And a progress. And minus 1 for damage, Glorfindel. Yep, sorry, so 10. Okay, three cards. Number 1. No, all these, all these, all these guys go away. Oh, yeah. Indeed. Bye-bye. Okay. So, number 1... Number two is a weather treachery, adding a resource on this one. There that is. And the one I was moderately fearing. Okay, so among so the nine the quest. damage. Well, I mean this is this is a player total. So I can I can take a fair few. So I can take one Well, I took those for my guys. Oh right, got everyone with, with damage gets minus willpower. This is gonna suck. Oh, this is going to suck. <clears throat> so how much have you taken? I took it for my guys. Okay, so you covered your weight. So one, two, three, four. So I take four. One, two, three, four. Okay. So I'm down from 19 to 16. So I'm not the end of the world. And a cornered orc, which will attack because of the Hammond Forn. Yes, he will. Yes, uh, yes, Chris, I blew my load on uh, Unlight the Beacons, but I do think that was the better play. Okay, so that's second reveal. Uh, that was the third, actually. There was the treachery oh, location. The treachery. Yeah. Madlong readies because of the enemy. Okay. We actually did pretty well. I uh, guess I'll take the orc here. Hang on, buddy. Let's resolve some stuff. Um, oh, yeah. I can ask Falath something. Might as well be the exposed ridge. Or, sure. Yeah, yeah, because I can't do it to the active location. So we'll throw it up there on the exposed ridge. Um, so three... Yeah, I've got no other tricks. Okay. So there's eight in the staging at the moment. I sent 16. You sent nine. That's 25. So we're making... I can't do math tonight. 17. Sounds about right. So six and 11. All right. Not two shabs. And let's go with the weathered hills. Weathered hilltop, I mean. Yeah. Well, I'll see what's that. I was going to get two and two. Yeah, yep, that's fine. And uh, all right, so now it's engagement. Yep. I'll take him. He's going to attack me. Yeah, no full defend. Plus. Two attacks, so he's at five. Gandalf said six defense, so no worries. 
Okay. And now combat phase. Now, if you get the... Oh, and I don't have my staff, so I can't hedge my bets at this point. But if you get the plus one attack for each ally you control, mm -hmm. I'm going to flip the table. Just fair warning. I'm looking forward to it. Gandalf will defend. <sighs> you got lucky, my friend. Yeah, so I'm disappointed, dude. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Gandalf will also defend. Come on, Shadows. Come on, what you got? All right, attack him back. I uh, can swing in for what here? Boromir doesn't have his... Does he have his ability at the moment? Yeah, he does. He does, but he doesn't so, affect heroes. Yeah, so that's only three. If he affected heroes, more people would play him. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to do one. Okay. Because of the plus one defense of Orc Ambush. Right. All right, I'll swing in for six and kill my dude. All right. Lovely, um, lovely, lovely. I believe we move on. Ah, oh, thank God. Do I need that? I don't think I need that. <laughs> so would the listeners be really pissed if I played the Nile like Gandalf when you have your Gandalf? I think I'll restrain. Just because I was, yeah, I was waiting for I like Gandalf, but I'll. <laughs> yeah, I think you can wait. I'll only play him in longer. desperation. Um, I am going to not play anything. Actually, actually, you know what I am going to do though. I am going to add a resource to Gorfindel. Go ahead. Okay. I'll heal Gandalf and. Um... Mablong. Or one of your guys in Mablong. <clears throat> well, how nice of you to share the healing since you're not sharing any of your uh, any of your resources. Nope. And, uh, oh, just yeah. one. Sorry. I'll do this uh, another two times. So. I better take it off Gandalf then so at least maybe he might quest for his full power. Okay, let's quest. Uh, we reveal another encounter card. I, I feel like we can. I think we can quest through at this point. Let's let's do Probably. The, let's do the token. Okay. All right, so I'm gonna go three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. So just go all out. So we can yep. soak as much damage as we possibly can. All right, so twelve. At the moment. I think the chat room is generally okay with our Gandalf uh, Gandalf house rule. Since, you know, it's so much work to to adjust our decks every time. So okay. This whole well, during, Gandalf guy. during the planning phase, I would have played him. And... No, that's not the house rule. What's the house rule? You discard it and draw a card. Okay, that works too. Mm. <laughs> and you go three for three? Aww. You just got the combo piece that would have gone well with him. <laughs> yeah. So I'll play during the quest phase a sneak attack if only to bring either two willpower then. So much for my... Chad, you shut your whore mouth. If I threat, oh, there is a doomed two treachery in this deck, isn't there? This this yep. could end terribly. All right. Do do you think maybe we want a Denethor instead of using his two willpower? Are you um, sure? Actually, what I'm really thinking is, can I finish without you? <laughs> True team player. Um, sure. What Weathered is Hill. Right now? Uh, so that's the car I just looked at with Denethor. So okay, but what's what's the Angmar captain? What's the Angmar captain doing up here? 
And what's, I don't what's know the Agmar orc doing down here? Whoa, where did all that come from? What happened? Moves. Sits will par. What? Uh, okay, so I'll just. They must have come from the deck and for some reason. Uh huh. So I'll, think, okay, I'll you just, just. You just have self destructive tendencies, I feel. We're, we're about to win, so you just you just can't handle that. No, 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 no. You have to sabotage us. So, okay, it let's is a French try again. word after all. Ah, there's the link. I reshuffle. So this is the top card. Ah, okay. uh, let's keep it there. Yep, yeah, that's fun. All right, ready? Yep. Two cards. First card <gasps> and second card. Oh, this one's gonna so hurt. Close. No, it's not. A test of will. Nicely done. Sir. So four threat in the stage area. That's uh, and then, and then, and then lots of progress. Well done. Yes. Yes. Tonight's forecast. My deck stalled. Well, you had a bonkers early and mid game, so I think it's okay. Well, even the mid game, I felt like it. Yeah. Well, if you had not been playing with Gandalf guy, you would have you would have popped off a little bit more because you'd be able to draw some cards and yeah. do other shenanigans. But well, I need to put some more card drawing there in somewhere or another. Not. Sure, how oh, I don't think Sink at that Gandalf and Darren Rune cut. So, <clears throat> yep, threat reduction. <laughs> uh, oh, 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 guess what were my bottom two cards? <laughs> That's fantastic. It, it was Galadrim's greeting, in case you were wondering. Uh -huh. Bottom two. But we That's why out, you so. need one of those Netrunner cards that lets you draw from the bottom of your deck. Oh, God. Those cards will never see play. They never right? did. Right? Right? I don't know. I am, uh, I've not been current on that game for a very, very long time. Me neither. The Anarchs may have completely shifted the meta. Accessing cards from the bottom of R&D. Huh, who does that? Well, the card is well titled, showing off. <laughs> Indeed. All right, enough well. of Netrunner. <laughs> yeah, well, you guys better prepare for plenty of Game of Thrones sidebars once 2.0 comes out, because it's happening. So very, very excited for that game. <laughs> I'll want to try it on. Hell yeah. I'm sure, I'm sure we'll have no shortage of melee people to play with. Because that's it's really I, I can't speak for 2.0 because it's not yet released, but it's the only it's the only real way to play 1.0. It's so fun. Well, thanks for joining us tonight, guys. One thing I will remind you of is if you enjoy the content that we put out, either the you know, primarily the podcast, or if in fact you enjoy the Twitch videos or YouTube videos, we have now started a Patreon account where you can uh, pledge some dollars. For the community, uh, we've pretty much, I think at this point, we've pretty much covered all of the costs that we have um, just on an ongoing basis. So thanks to everyone who's already participated in that. And as well, if, uh, again, if it's something that you enjoy, we'd certainly appreciate the nod. Where are you? So patreon.com slash COTR. Anything we make above the operating cost of the podcast Go straight back into the community. We've already got plenty of fun brainstorms for the you know, some tests or some, some tests, some contests rather that we're gonna run. We've got some fun ideas for swag at Gen Con, which will then become swag post Gen Con for for said contest. Lots of fun stuff in store. So please, if uh, something you feel like doing, the community appreciates it. Again, yeah. Patreon.com/slash/cotr. Etienne, anything to add at this point? I'm looking forward to the third quest and then moving on to the saga, the new saga box that is being released. I won't get my grubby hands on it 
for a little while but uh, hopefully you can start building some fun end decks with these new cards that lets you look through your deck a little faster in the uh, same vein as uh, the Eagles are coming. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of really real synergy instead of having like six cents in a 50 card deck and a bunch of junk to uh, fill up the gaps. So it's oh, nice to find some new archetypes that aren't awfully overpowered, just very different and brings a new twist. So I'll be careful before you start a forum fight because people are, there are very, I don't want to say a fair amount of people who are convinced that ends are OP. You know, I, I personally think that they, they, the game has become fast enough that their whole enters play exhausted thing is enough of a tempo hit to balance them out. But, mm -hmm. but you know, that remains to be seen. There's some well, it's, uh, yeah, it, it depends from quest to quest. That's for sure. You can't just look at one slow quest and compare it to the ants and say they are broken. Because right. You would have to like pretty much play every quest once to get an actual idea. But um, yeah, I really like the way they feel in this sense that it's not like you would expect ten attacks out of them, but you do feel that you get a lot for what you pay for, which is uh is which very is different from as a card game player <laughs> if, if card yes. games teach you nothing else it is the ability to really deeply analyze cost to value ratios mm -hmm. so uh once i find a deck that i am proud enough to uh present in public i'll definitely put it in the cotr deck box I expect three beard as a probably an ally because he synergizes so well with the other ends as much as uh, as I really like the uh, hero card up to now I think I'm gonna have to stick him as an ally in that one but yeah so I'm very much looking forward to that to that point I think people would love to see the Gondor deck that you played tonight out in the uh, the deck box so after you make your tweaks there once you throw it out because I feel like a lot of people a lot of people feel like Gondor is a uh, it's They're skeptical about trait. it. Yeah, yeah. So I think I think seeing a deck in action might be a well. As you can see from my resource distribution in the end of the game, it could use a little tweaking. Well, <laughs> like eighteen on one. Just a little bit of card but, draw here and there. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, I will do a few tweaks and I'll put it on the deck's box as well. Sweet. All right. Well, I think that's all for us. It was actually a pretty high and tight game. Pulled it out, you know, like all the bosses. good stuff. <laughs> all right, well, that's all for us tonight. Thanks for coming out, and good night, and good luck.